All right, y'all. So we're out here at the Elevated AF shop. And today we finally get to pick up our very first project. So we're going to jump in the Ford here, grab our trailer, and we'll get going. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton. And I appreciate it so much. All right. So today we're headed out to an old piece of property where this older guy has stashed away an old F100. Now, this thing's pretty rusted out from the pictures he sent of it to me. And uh, it doesn't look too good, but. We're heading out to go pick it up or at least go take a look at it see if we can actually get it out of the shed that it's in because apparently it's it's in this old shed and it's it's not gonna be fun to get out so we're gonna go check it out see how it is and if we can get it out of the shed that'll be good and we can go from there all right i'm pretty sure this is the road we're supposed to be headed down and the shed yeah there it is right there tucked in the woods he said this thing was an old farm truck so uh this is definitely worse for wear so i guess let's just pulling down here hopefully we don't get stuck i don't think we will we should be fine i should really have a work truck for this kind of stuff i shouldn't be taking my nice ford all right let's just stop right here for now so he said the shed is open yeah there we go all right there it is so you guys might be wondering if this is going to be a restoration job no not at all so i've been looking for an old f100 for a while i was looking for something a little bit better condition but uh, all the ones in decent condition of course are going for a lot of money so I had to settle for something that was a little less nicer, but we have all the resources to get this thing looking brand new. Now, if we end up taking this thing, my plan was to make this thing into a mud bog truck. I'm talking huge lift, new motor, big mud bog tires, like turn this thing into an absolute beast. So the guy should be here any minute now and we'll uh, do some dealing. But uh, the deal was I have to get it out of the shed myself and uh, he wasn't going to be helping with that. Basically... I think he said he needed to tear down the shed or something like that. And uh, he wanted this truck gone. So he'll be down here in a few minutes. We'll do some deal and see if we can make a, a purchase on this. Make a deal. And uh, we'll take it, get it loaded up, and head on back. All right. So we ended up making a deal on the F100 here. So uh, now we got to get this thing loaded up. We didn't actually pay too much money for it, which is pretty good. So that's awesome. This thing does not run. The, uh, the motor is apparently toast. So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing that we're going to be getting a new one, but it is in neutral. So we'll be able to winch it onto the trailer. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have to deal with all these trees over here, but we should be good as long as my backing up skills will allow it. Okay. I got to reposition. All right. So I think that's all we can go. I pr could probably angle it in there a little bit better, but I think if I get the winch hooked up, I turn the wheels a little bit, get them, uh, turned this way so we can actually maneuver it onto the trailer here. We should be able to make it work. All right, so this is how far we ended up making it here. We're kind of scraping the rim there, but uh, that should be fine. So it winch it up just a little bit more, and then I should be able to tilt the deck down and uh, bring it forward just a little bit more so it's sitting a little bit better on the trailer. All right, we managed to get this thing loaded up, so we're going to see if we can maneuver this out. Hopefully, we can get up that hill. We should be able to. I hope this thing doesn't look too much worse in the sun. That's always the trouble because this thing is completely in the dark. So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to see a few more things that are wrong with this thing when it's out in the sun well i mean it actually doesn't look too bad a lot of it's just surface rust the metal underneath actually doesn't look too bad so i think we might be okay yeah a lot of it's just surface rust so that's awesome all right i guess let's get going back to the shop and i uh, well we got a lot of work to do on this thing all right we're back finally oh i should also mention i hired a few shop guys because we're going to be getting stock in next week. So I wanted enough shop guys to actually accommodate that. But since we don't have any stock, I wanted to pick up this project for them to start working on now. Uh, they're on lunch break. So we're just going to park this right here for now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move this forklift out of the way. And uh, I might try to get it put in the shop. All right. So with some help from the forklift here, we got it off the trailer and uh, turned around. So we're going to try to get it on the lift now. And then the uh, shop guys can take it away from there. But basically, once this thing's on the lift, it's going to get stripped down completely. Any dents? I don't think there's really any dents in this thing. Surprisingly enough, there's... Yeah, I can't see a single one. But if there is, once this thing gets sandblasted, those will get taken out or beforehand, whichever. And then it's going to go into paint. Pretty much all that's going to be kept of this truck is a lot of the body parts. A lot of the other stuff, I have brand new things coming. A whole new frame, brand new boggers. I think this is all pretty much staying the same other than that. But considering the interior is still in really, really good condition, I'm pretty happy with that. And up we go. And that should be good right there. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait for the guys to get back here from lunch. 
Uh, I'm probably going to go have some lunch. We'll go over this truck, and then I get to go pick up some parts for this thing already. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, just got done having some lunch in the camper there. Uh, the guys are here. Finally got off lunch there, and uh, they're working on the F100. I want to show you guys their vehicles here real quick. He's got uh, F150 Dodge Hellcat. I love this thing. I want one myself. And then uh, third gen, big old third gen. This thing is quite the machine. It goes really fast and uh, rolls a lot of coal too. But they're working on the F100 there. And uh, I am going to go pick up some parts, which is about an hour drive. So hopefully once they uh, get working on that F100 there, it should be uh, pretty easy work. I mean, there's three of them working on it. So shouldn't take long. Should be in paint pretty quick, I'm going to say. Anyway, we got a bit of a drive to pick up those parts. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I think this is the place right up here. I'm pretty sure. Is this it? Yes. Yes. GPS is saying it's it, so I'm assuming this is it. If it's not, well, GPS uh, screwed up again. They said they were in the shed there. Yep, there they are. Perfect. Okay, where am I going to park my trailer? Right here. Okay, I got to go and talk to them, and uh, they said they're going to load them up for me. But actually, let's go take a look at these here real quick. Here's the new engine for the truck, and then here is the new rims and tires, the boggers. Look at these things. They're huge. They're going to be sweet. Okay. Anyways, we're going to get these loaded up, so I'll see you guys when that's done. All right, we're loaded up here. Everything's strapped down. I think we're good to go. I got an update from the guys working at the shop there. They said the truck actually looked really good. Didn't look as bad as they thought, and uh, a lot of the rest there surfaced, so don't have to do too much work there. Which is good. Means uh makes the job a lot easier. Alright, we're back at the shop here. Um, I'm gonna get one of the guys to unload these parts for me. And then uh might go take a look, see how they're doing on that truck. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go grab the tell handler because I think yeah, the forklift is not gonna reach that far. So I'm gonna have to go grab the tell handler and I'll just unload it myself. We'll just keep the guys working on that F one hundred instead. Now where are my forks for this thing? I don't know where they went. They gotta be somewhere around here. I'll find them. All right, I managed to find the forks. You know what? Hold on. I keep changing my mind. I might actually just move the truck around to the back here. And we'll just put the parts somewhere around back. Yeah, I think that's going to be a better idea. Okay, if I quit changing my mind, maybe I could actually get some stuff done. But this should be better. And I'll just park this right here. Okay, so we got the parts put right here for now. We'll move them into the shop probably tonight. But uh, for now, they can stay there. The, uh, the entire shop in the front there is uh, quite the mess, so we're just going to leave that. They've just been taking apart stuff and working on that truck, so we're just going to leave that. Uh, the frame should be here. It's supposed to be getting delivered, so we actually don't have to go pick it up. So that's a little bit nicer. I wish these parts would have gotten delivered, but oh well. But I'll see you guys when the truck is done. All right, y'all, so I'm just pulling back into the dealership here. The guys are gone. It's the weekend, but the truck is finally done, and they said it's ready for me to check out. They've been sending me update pictures, but finally, I get to show you guys. So, let's check it out. Look at this truck. Oh, it actually almost, it kind of has the same blue as the shop. Not quite, but dang, look at how big this thing is. All oh, the tires look even bigger on it than they did before, but dang. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this color. I kind of like the color, but I I don't know. It, it hmm, I don't know. Dang, look at this. Look how tall it is. It's such, just such a big truck maybe we should have it as like the shop truck or something all right let's see if we can hop in this thing oh man look at this thing all right let's pull it out of the shop here dang look how tall this thing is oh i still wanted to do a hood stack though maybe in the future we will but dang all right let's shut this door is it, is it, okay it's shutting oh man okay let's take this thing for a drive oh this thing is so tall i love it what a Build and it goes too. Oh, oh boy, we gotta slow it down. We're gonna go off the road here. Oh man, I love this thing so much. I so wish I had some terrain to actually like try it out on. We can go down here by the lake or the river, I guess, but uh, there's not much, which is kind of unfortunate. I really don't want to get this thing dirty if I can help it. All right, let's take this thing back to the shop. All right, let's park this thing right here for now. Well, first build out of the shop done. Many more to come. We got uh, a bunch of stock hopefully coming in next week we've got trailers we got trucks we've got power sports atvs all that stuff coming in the shop is gonna be packed okay and uh, i've already got stock that i haven't even gotten here sold already like we've had people come in because they've seen the shop i don't even have a sign up yet but just word of mouth we've already had i think 10 sales of full rigs 
that once they get here, they're already going to be sold, which is pretty crazy. But uh, I guess there hasn't been a shop like this around here in quite a while. And we've also got a bunch of new builds lined up for customers. So we're going to be uh, having quite the busy week next week. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long.